Hello lovely humans, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with some more Amphibia and yes, I'm so excited to see what's going on in our froggy world today. It is December, it's the holiday season and I really hope that you guys um, are feeling festive and excited. I know I am. Um, I decided to do a fun kind of like pink eye look today and I haven't worn my plushy My Melody hair clip yet. It's super fun. It's definitely a statement piece because I have literally a plushie on my head. But when I complain about that, I would be the last person to complain about that. And you guys know that. So I thought, I don't know, it would be a nice way to accessorize the look. So anyway, um, I really hope that you guys liked my reaction to the new Sonic series. I know this is different for my channel, but I'm actually really excited to react to this. I, Like I said, I've been a Sonic fan forever since I was like a child, as young as I can remember. So I really hope that everyone could get hyped about it, as hyped as I am, and we could go on this journey together and enjoy it. But today is Amphibia Day, and today it's time for Froggy Fam. So before we start for my cute items of the day, I'm gonna share with you some really nice cozy items that bring me joy. Cause whenever it's cold outside in the winter season, I wanna be surrounded by nice cozy things that bring happiness. So this first thing is a gift to me that my mom gave me when I went and visited home a few weeks ago. She found this really awesome little unicorn. It's like a coffee mug cozy. So it keeps your coffee not too hot. So when you hold it, it's not burning your hands. Which like, you know, I kind of like when the coffee cup is really hot, you know, when you get a paper cup or whatever, because it keeps my hands warm in the cold weather. But it's cute, look, it has a unicorn pattern on it, and apparently some woman designed this herself. So, helping out small businesses and artists, I am always for that. So it's just really sweet, and whenever I use it, it'll be nice and soft to hold on to, and it'll remind me of my mom. I also want to show you some cute stickers that I have. This is a really cute uh, pastel retro heart. You guys know me with the pastel colors. I just love this. It kind of reminds me of the old Powerpuff Girl heart. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm talking about, comment below. So I really just love this. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet because there's no more room for stickers on my laptop anymore, guys. Like, it is full of stickers. I don't know if you can see it back there. Let's try to use some fancy camera work and zoom in. Yeah, well, you guys can see. Too many stickers, guys, help! But it doesn't mean I, I can't stop buying stickers, it's a problem. And lastly, I have this little mushroom sticker. It says, mush love. There we go, again, it's beautiful pastel colors. I love it so much. I have a weird addi uh, addiction to mushrooms. Oh my God, there's a little gnome on it and I didn't even realize it before. Oh my goodness, Mr. Gnome, can you believe this? Look guys. There's a gnome on it. Wait, do. How did I not know? How did I not know? Wow, I made a discovery live with you guys. I am so happy. I love it even more now. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, guys, let's start the episode. I can't wait to watch with you. All right, guys, so this first episode is called Little Frog Town. And it looks like the thumbnail is in black and white, which is interesting. So I don't know what the deal is gonna be with that. <laughs> but we'll find out. Let's see what's gonna happen today. Little Frog Town, what a cute name. Oh. Ooh, is this like a, is this a genre episode? Like an old black and white movie? Oh no, Sprig's just watching it. Old detective films, let me guess, there's gonna be a mystery. like yes the old school black and white movies were the best whoa that's a lot of traffic hi Bessie oh they're going to the Newtopia arcade that's fun I feel like our froggy fam has been having so much fun in Newtopia so far like they've just been exploring living it up Sal's Wartwood style sandwiches oh did this used to be Hop Hop's favorite place Wait, is this gonna be a Hop Hop flashback episode? Because I'm like 1000% about that if it is. Yes, please Hop Hop flashback episode. I wanna see young Hop Hop like really badly. What was his favorite sandwich? Today I am drinking again, I've drank these before. Peach Mandarin Fit Aid. It's an energy drink with a lot of vitamins in it and it tastes amazing. One of the most refreshing ones I've had. Oh wow, Hop Hop's gonna like He's a little too in love with this sandwich, if you know what I mean. 
pop up. I'm pretty sure it's closed down. Aww. I get it. He just wants to taste something that always meant a lot to him. He wants to go back there mentally. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go to the arcade, don't you? I mean, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> well, it doesn't mean you can't go, Hop Pop. You go check it out. Uh oh. Oh boy, that does not look good in there. Uh oh. Oh, I feel kind of bad for him. Okay. He had a secret sauce recipe. <laughs> that kind of frog. Okay, Hop Pop. <laughs> All right, so Hop Pop's gonna solve this mystery. Oh, there's a gala. Wealthy elite only. This is definitely an old school detective episode. I'm about it though. All right, so Hop Pop's gonna solve the case. Ha <laughs> ah, the boy's over. Follow the sauce to find Sal. You don't have to repeat me. Uh, three hours later, oh God. Is it really worth it? I mean, our kids are pretty fun, I will say. <laughs> oh, you're gonna cut this cute little frog in front of you though, Anne. He's kind of adorable. <laughs> He's beneath us. Polly. And a little boy cut in front of you. Maybe you could let it go. <laughs> it is Hot Pop in a tuxedo. Oh, how beautiful! Oh my goodness, look how classy everybody looks. Ooh. Ooh, we got a jazz singer Newt here. It's like they're taking us back to the 20s. I like it. Oh. Again, confirming my theories about the hierarchy system. She said, we don't see many frogs at the Neutropolitan. You must be quite wealthy. Again, I think it's frogs, then toads, then newts, which like, you know, I don't like hierarchy systems, but I think that's what it is in this cartoon. I think everyone views the frogs as just like very low key, laid back farmers. And then, you know, the toads are the warriors, the rough and tough ones, and then the newts are high society. If there are any animals that are even higher than the newts, I'm curious about that, but that is my theory for now. Um, Oh, anyway, what little hors d'oeuvre is Hop Pop gonna eat? So someone stole his sauce recipe, I guess, and made it fancy. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, damn! Okay, Hop Pop! He just bursts into the kitchen. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's a little intimidating. Tuh. Over. I mean, it's technically his own voice, so he's talking to himself, but it's funny. Who are these bullies? Okay, and you gotta chill, girl. Little kids are cutting you in line. They're little children. I mean, it's not right, but it's... Alright, they have bad attitudes, don't they? Okay. I'm kind of on the inside now. <laughs> Anne is about to like, oh my goodness, Anne. Anne's about to go hard on these little boy frogs. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, what? I'm a monster from another world. I mean, technically. Jeez. Oh no, she made him cry. Too far, Anne, too far. Look at his little rainbow bow tie. He's so cute. Oh gosh. Yeah, you did make a mistake. This looks bad, Anne. This looks bad. But from a teacher's perspective, I guess I could get it. Like, when kids say, then what? That means they're really challenging you. The guy's just like, eh, I don't know. Like, Hop Up, what is your plan, though? Like, you're, you're gonna steal all the sauce. There's so much of it. 
<laughs> this is so funny. It plays out just like one of those old detective movies. Oh no! Ooh! The sauce looked really hot. I hope he's okay. Oh no, now they have weapons. This must have been really fun for the voice actor to do. Cause he's definitely putting on a different hop hop persona. Speaking in all that like 20s lingo. Oh, it's Sal! Huh. Oh my God, he's literally the godfather. Wait, maybe he's maybe he started selling his sauce on purpose because this is America. I don't know if this is America, but People are just obsessed with money and that's how life works and making a fortune is the most important thing instead of just keeping your charming first shot that you've ever had, which is probably what Hot Pop would do because Hot Pop's amazing and perfect, but this guy probably wouldn't do that because he wants to become famous and become rich and sell his award-winning famous product. So he opened this up himself. Oh yeah, that's probably what Sal did. Yeah. Yeah, but, oh see, this goes against Hot Pop's morals because he just believes in keeping things low key and down to earth and old school and genuine and true. Aw. But it was Sal's decision to make his dream come true, so. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Is Sal gonna come after him now? I don't want anyone to hurt Hot Pop. Damn, Anne, what happened to you? <laughs> they made us for like, hot, Polly just shouted her out so quickly. It was Anne's fault. No hesitation. Dude, you got tasered, and I mean, we gotta see that arcade. Was it really that worth it at this point? Ha <laughs> ha You can't stop narrating. Ha <laughs> pop, stop narrating. It's okay. That's so funny. That was a cute episode. All right, Hopping Mall. I guess we're going on a mall adventure today. More adventures in Newtopia. Wait, did that just say Hop Topic? Oh my gosh, there's a Hop Topic, stop. I feel like this episode's gonna be really fun for me. <laughs> okay, when I was a teenager, the mall was the place to be, guys. Some of you might not know this, but malls used to be a thing that existed. And when you had nothing to do on the weekends and you wanted to feel cool and you wanted to get away from your parents, you would go with your friends to the mall and you would like dress up just to walk around the mall. You probably would buy like one thing because like in high school you have like no money. And you would just like hang out in stores, take pictures, I don't know, get like lunch there and just like kind of just stand around the mall. Like basically it wasn't even about buying things in the mall. It was just about looking around to things in the mall, trying things on, not even buying them. And they're just like standing around looking bored, but feeling so cool doing it. And then like gossiping about people in school. That was the mall. And now most malls all over the world are completely closed down and it's pretty insane. Like everything is different now. Everybody orders everything online and everything is not online. And it makes me feel really, really, really old. Besides the point, do I miss malls? Eh, I mean, kind of, but not really, but kind of. So I don't know, I'm curious to see what happens in this episode. <laughs> oh, anything they like, okay. Wow. Aw, guys, don't be ungrateful. Hop Hop's giving you money. Hot Pop's coffee looks so good. Look at the steam coming off of it. I want a nice hot cup of coffee right now. Hot Pop, you're encouraging them to bargain. Oh God, of course, Polly's all on top of that. She just likes to wreak havoc. I wonder what they're gonna buy. I'm kind of excited. I wanna know what they're gonna buy. What is that? Whoa, okay. Bamboo stick? What's the poor pot guy? My pots! Was that a reference to the My Cabbages guy from Avatar? Eh, he's gonna love it. Ooh, that looks like it might feel good on your feet even though it's worms. 
Oh geez, Hop Hop really likes that massage chair. <laughs> oh, get her a cute little teacup. Yeah, true, it should be special. Candle? Okay, she likes antiques. Get her something like, like a porcelain thing with a butterfly on it. That's beautiful, Anne. No, not taxidermy, no. The vase is cute. Oh my gosh, that teapot is so whimsical. And handcrafted by a local artist. Yes, Anne, I agree. It's perfect. It's so pretty. It looks like something straight out of a fairy tale. Your mom's gonna love it, Anne. I feel like I'm really shopping with her. I like it. Wait, Anne, you gotta make sure you have enough money first. <laughs> this is like me. Like, I see something pretty and I get delusional and I'm like, I can afford it and then I buy it anyway and I'm like, oh, wait. Definitely couldn't have, but... Pretty things are worth it sometimes. We all deserve beautiful things that make us happy. A song by me, written by me just now. Priscilla the Killer? Does she also want the teapot? Is that gonna be the joke? Oh, she's so cute! That's your daughter, she's adorable! Look at her little, like, Lilia style outfit. Oh my god, her daughter is so cute. Look at her little Lolita style outfit. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. And again, you don't know what the contest is, so maybe don't guess you could win right away. <laughs> Mop top. Don't make fun of her hair. push cards around and ram into each other. That's lame. That's the game. Okay. Sprig, you gotta stop playing with that thing. Holly, what did you get? Ha, ah, she got a fancy new bucket. I love it, Polly. That's fancy as hell. All right, Polly, calm it down. You're scaring me a little. Ooh, bows. <laughs> She's so cute. Jeez, they're all fighting over them. So they gotta choose, and and is tasting it really gonna help? <laughs> ah, she just said she, Sasha and Marcy lived at the mall. So Anne knows what I'm talking about. She knows the mall deal. All right, I'm curious as to how this competition's gonna go. Oh. Pearl is adorable, I love her. Oh. oh, she's still injured. She's just looking out for her. Oh no. Okay, so Anne has an advantage because she's injured. I don't know if she's gonna go about things the right way though. Okay, everyone looks super intimidating. Oh! Uh, Macro Angelo! So cute! Why are there so many cute little characters in this? Okay, I don't know who's cuter. What was his name? Macro Angelo? I don't know if Macro Angelo or Pearl is cuter, but I want them both. I want them both in plushy and figurine form. Not that guy, though. No thanks. I'll pass on him. Huh. In the massage chair stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez. Again, don't challenge Anne. She will go hard on you. She does not play soft. She is a freaking champion warrior queen. Oh jeez. Whoa, this music freaking slaps. This music slaps. All right, that is that is terrifying. I be careful, Anne. I don't trust that guy. <laughs> He's fine. Okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh no! Not the baby. Ollie, what? Good question. Oh. They're flying over, okay. Jeez. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they took them down. Wow. Yeah, let's not make mop top a thing. Oh, the teapot is so pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah, her mom's gonna love it. I would freak out over that. 
she's a good sport. Wait, she has a butterfly on her belt. Did she make it? I just noticed that. <gasps> Did her mom make the teapot? Shh. I knew it. And you have to give it back. I called it. I called it when I saw the butterfly belt. I knew it was her mom and that's why it's so special. And you have to give it back. It's more sentimental for her and it'll help her feel better than it would make you feel and your mom feel combined. And it might help her mom and her connect. Yay, 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 yay. Aw, Pearl. Oh, that's beautiful. Pearl, you made that? That's gorgeous. Can I have one, please? How sweet. How, how sweet and what a beautiful moment that was. I'm telling you guys, I'm calling it. They're coming back. Patricia, I think her name was, or Pris Priscilla or whatever, and her little Pearl, they're coming back. Pop, Pop, did you buy the massage chair? He bought the massage chair, didn't he? He used it for the massage chair. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I can't. Dude, I just saw Claire's, which is an accessory store that I still like, that, by the way, and it's just called Frog Claire's. <laughs> I guess they couldn't think of anything else to call it, so they called it Frog Claire's. Oh, Anne, are you missing your mom? It is so pretty. Yeah, I agree with Sprague. Mm. Utopia looks beautiful at night. that much of our heart warming up moment at the end of that episode. Also, just saying and saying how much she was taking her mom for granted and she's like, oh, I miss her horrible singing or whatever. And then Sprig's like, at least you knew your mom. Whoa, talk about those moments in life when you just realize how lucky you have it. You know what I mean? Oh my God, we finally know. So Sprig and Polly's mom passed away. That is so sad. It's interesting he didn't mention the dad though because I always wondered if they were both both orphans. I guess since the dad wasn't mentioned, maybe that's a big piece of uh, a clue, a big piece of evidence that maybe the dad is still alive. But oh my goodness, they lost their mom. Oh, and Polly, I'm hugging you. I'm sending you hugs right now. That's so hard. That actually ended up being such a beautifully emotional episode. I have to tell you guys, I liked that mall episode like a million times more than the first episode. <laughs> um, what a great episode. Like I'm honestly really like pleasantly surprised and blown away. I thought it was gonna be like another slice of life thing, which it kind of was, but no, because it had such deep emotional moments. We got to learn more about Anne's family and Sprig and Polly, so. Oh, I love this show. Well, I'll be back continuing with more Amphibia next time or the Sonic series. I'll be finishing being Puppy Cat. So a lot of exciting things are happening. But until I see you guys next time, sending you all the love and mush love. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.